Hey guys, Chuck here again, and today I'm going to do an experiment on short ducks for the Cinewhoops versus the standard long ducks. So right here I have the OG Shendrones squirt ducks right here. I believe that they're the same as the uh, V2 as far as shape goes, but I'll, I'll test that later on. I have a, a V2... Um, V2 squirt here that I'll be testing later, but it was just easier for me to uh, test the V1s on my my new rig here. So I have this kind of a seesaw kind of a setup here uh, that I just kind of quickly designed. And basically, I'm going to strap the strap the um, strap the drone onto the end of it and spin up the props and see how much pressure it puts onto the scale, so I can measure relative thrust between the two different ducks. So uh, let me explain some of the other things I have. So besides the uh, two different ducks I'll be testing, I have an iFlight Banshee, which I believe is a knockoff of the original Shendron Squirt because I can fit the um, ducks that I got off Thingiverse onto the Banshee. And I think the Banshee is also a an iFlight uh, Bumblebee V1. So, um, see, I got my scale here, cheapo scale, seems to be fairly accurate. And I'm gonna be using uh, 4S, um, 4,000 milliamp battery to power this. So I got a couple of these, got my voltage checker, and what else? So I'll just be using Betaflight to spin up the motors using the motors tab. So. So there's the setup, and uh, so let's get testing. Let's do a baseline and see what we can get. Um, the props on this quad, see, first of all, we have the T-Motor F20. These are 13, I'm sorry, 3750 kV, and I have the Gemfan D76 five-bladed props, which I find to be pretty fantastic. So these are 76 millimeters. Um, one thing to point out is that the Shandrones um, ducks are actually larger than 76 millimeters. Let's see, what do we have here? We got about 78 millimeters or so, approximately. And on, on my ducks, um, they're a bit narrower to fit the 76 millimeter props. And so at the uh, widest, I'm about uh, 76 and a half millimeters. So, so 76 millimeters versus 78, we're gonna have a little bit of uh, difference in uh, the gap at the edge of the prop, but it's not gonna be very significant, but I will say that getting the blades of the props closer to the edge are gonna be more efficient as long as you're not dragging. So um, that's it. So let's get to work and set up the uh, baseline. So I'm recording on my computer. I'm doing a screen cap of Betaflight, uh, was it Configurator? And I'm also recording on my phone the uh, thrust stand that I kind of threw together. And so we got our 4S battery here, uh, voltage. Um, we got about, yeah, this isn't very accurate, but we're looking at about 16.7 volts for the battery so let me just go ahead and and uh, power up and we'll just get a well, let's just do this first I'll have the scale turned on and so we're at zero grams let me just kind of test it a little bit if I push up a little bit yeah so I can read it so let's just get a baseline of the let's get a baseline of the gem fans so let's see what I have here so looks like the wire, I should probably strap a battery on, but the wire is probably gonna um, skew the results by maybe a few grams plus or minus. So we will, we'll ignore a few grams plus or minus. We're, we're at zero here. So let's go ahead and spin this sucker up. Let's get over onto the, onto the motors tab. Turn it on. And, and so we're on the motors tab right now. So what I'll do is I'll I'll just go up to 100% and try to hold it there for a few seconds. Um, this thing is Velcroed on, shouldn't fly away, but um, I got my glasses on. I got 
uh, my hoodie on. Hopefully I don't have any props fly off and uh, slice me. But let's see, let's uh, do a tear here. Zero grams. All right, let's uh, spin it up. Yeah, so I got a shitty battery here, but um, I didn't see what the maximum thrust was on that because I was looking at the at the I was looking at the monitor. But um, let's see, let's try that one more time. So I think I saw fifteen hundred grams on there. So let's go ahead and uh, put on some ducks and uh, give this another shot. So new battery, um, close to full charged. Let's go ahead and power this sucker up. Tear. All right, so I have the iFlight Banshee with the D76 props again, but this time fitted with the original Shendron's squirt ducks. So let's go ahead and spin that up to 100% and see what we get. All right, so let's just spin that sucker up. Come on. Click that button. Come on. Come on. Oh, got to click on this here. I saw about 1,560 grams on that one. So let's uh, go ahead and do a tear and we'll do another spin up and see what we got. All right, that's with the Shendron's ducks. All right, so um, I topped off the battery, so we're at um, the same voltage as the other two tests. So this time I have the uh, short ducts fitted with the D76 props, and we're going to run the same test um, on 4S. And uh, let's go ahead and power up. Okay, so let's do another spin up from Betaflight Configurator. Let's try that one more time. It definitely sounded like a lot higher RPMs that time, but uh, we'll go back and check the um, check the um, screen capture and all that. So, so that was the second test with. Um, with the uh, short ducks. All right, so let's uh, go back and look at the data and uh, summarize. Okay, so what did I learn from all of this? I guess nothing definitive except that I can say that you're not gonna get any performance loss as far as thrust with the short ducks as compared to the long ducks. Even, you know, even though I was able to consistently um, read higher thrust with the short ducks, then the long ducks, I'm going to say that the difference is probably um, very little. But 
I'll, I'll run this again with the uh, scored v2 and uh, basically the same ducks um, the the next set of ducks that I'll be testing um, it's the exact same profile but these are airfoil type and you can see that these are, are flat on the sides versus uh, the concave uh, um, you know airfoil or whatever you want to call it so nothing conclusive except for short ducks are just as good as long ducks and you might get more thrust out of these short ducks because of the design of the airfoil and uh, you'll save a little bit of weight with the short ducks as well so so that's it thanks a lot for watching and have a great day